All right, Black & Decker blender. I'm gonna disassemble the bottom portion of the pitcher. The reason it's necessary is that the last time this blender was used, it was rinsed out, but not allowed to dry completely inside. And then somebody put the lid on it, put it in the cabinet underneath the sink where we keep it stored in my kitchen. And with it being wet inside with the lid on, nasty mold, algae, fungus, just completely disgusting stuff growing down in the bottom. I poured some bleach in there overnight, rinsed it out the next morning, but it still had a nasty, funky smell to it. So I'm going to take this apart, clean the individual pieces, put it back together, and then we should be good. Should be good as new. This whole bottom portion, this black portion, is going to unscrew off the glass. So I've got a pair of channel lock pliers, and they're just wide enough to get a grip, and then turn it to the left while holding the handle. And there we go. So now you can take that off. There's a little rubber gasket. We'll get that cleaned up. That's just nasty. It smells absolutely disgusting. You can see I have a glove on my right hand to keep from getting cut by these blades. Pull this piece out. Now this little nut has to come off right here in the middle. It's a 3 8 inch nut and it's reverse threads, meaning instead of turning it to the left as you normally would to loosen, we're gonna turn it to the right. And now that's loose, got that nut off. With that nut off, and holding onto those blades with my gloved hand. This black piece in the middle is gonna come off, but it's the same way. It's gonna to turn to the right to loosen its reverse threads. This old pair of spreaders, they fit right in between these teeth, and I'm now gonna to turn to the right. There you go, and then that'll unscrew. The blades will come off of this, and there you go. You have one, two, three, four, five separate pieces. I'm gonna soak all this in, in hot, soapy water with bleach in there as well. Use an old toothbrush to scrub it down and get it nice and clean. Wait until it's completely dry and then put it all back together. There's no model number on this blender. It just says Black & Decker. Whatever model you have, I would think the, the base of the pitcher would come apart in, in some similar fashion. Here's the hot, soapy water with some bleach in there with it. Got to drop everything in, let it soak. You see how nasty that is. I'm also putting the bottom of that glass pitcher down into that hot soapy water as well. So I'll let that soak, come back, clean it up, let it dry, and then put it back together. All right, everything's clean. I'm gonna let it sit in the sun for a while until it's completely dry and then reassemble. Everything's dry and reassembly is a reversal of disassembly. Keep track of any washers you may have with your particular model. This one I found down in the, in the bottom of that container with the soapy water and I wasn't sure where it went so I had to look back through the footage to see if I could spot it and it goes right here. So just watch out for washers that you don't lose them and that you know where they go back. Now remember we turned this to the right to get it off. We're going to turn it to the left, put it back on. There we go. And I have my gloves on because, again, these things are sharp. You could cut your hand if you don't have gloves on. Using this little spreading pair of pliers that work well on those teeth. Turn it to the left to tighten it. Now I can put this 3 8 nut back on. Also reverse thread, so turn to the left for reinstallation. There we go, that's tight. Make sure when you spin these teeth that the blade spins so you know you have it back together properly. Now this goes back down into here. Just like that. This gasket, it's the same on both sides. It goes on top of the glass. And now blades on the inside. This is normal threads here, right hand threads. There we go. Make sure it's on tight using the channel locks. There we go. No leftover pieces, so we're good. And the teeth on the bottom and the blades turn. The last test will be to plug it in and fire it up. Let's give it a test. You can see the blades spinning freely. So we're good. Kind of random video, but I'm sure somebody out there needs to clean their Black & Decker blender, pitcher, blades. That's how you do it. Keep it nice and clean. Hope this helps you out. Peace out. Good luck if you try it.